This week we are in Mobile, Alabama. Well, almost in Mobile. We are about halfway between Mobile and Pensacola mm -hmm. at a place called the Wilderness RV Park. Yep. And it's our very first RPI property, which is Resort Parks International, which um, you can buy a membership of RPI by itself. Yes, you can. But it's not done traditionally that way. Yeah. Traditionally, it is an add-on of Thousand Trails. That's how we purchased our RPI mm -hmm. membership. And it's $125 a year. And what's great about RPI is because Thousand Trails are so spread out and they're mostly coastal, yeah. um, there's big gaps yeah, there between are. where you can stay in Thousand Trails. And because we're backtracking across the Gulf mm -hmm. from Florida back over to Texas before we head northwest West. Mm -hmm. there's a big gap between where we last stopped at a thousand trails encore property in brooksville florida yeah and our next opportunity to stop at a thousand trails is texas yeah so you gotta go across the whole panhandle of florida alabama mississippi, mississippi louisiana yeah. and all that um there's only a couple of, of military properties that we could stay on uh -huh. um and actually and we are and we are <laughs> yeah but actually rpi properties are even less expensive than the military for us. True, very true. Because the RPI properties start at seven dollars a night, mm -hmm. so it could be as cheap as you know forty nine dollars for the week. Yeah. Or um, some properties have a set price that they've negotiated with RPI mm -hmm. for a weekly rate. That's the case here. Yeah. Uh, here at the Wilderness RV Park, it's ninety two dollars for the week. And traditionally, we stay at a park that is not that's not military or thousand trails. It'll cost us, on average, about two hundred dollars a week. Yeah. So we saved about one hundred and eight dollars, staying here. Almost the membership price. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> the membership is one hundred twenty-five dollars. Uh, so we're only a few dollars away from saving the whole membership gosh. cost on our very first stay. Yeah. Which is great. So we stay at one more RPI property. We've already way surpassed. Yeah. What the what membership cost us yeah. in the first place. And we're staying at another RPI property in a couple uh, weeks. Yes, we are. Over close to uh, New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And um, the only thing, we, we don't have anything to compare with other RPI properties yet. Yeah. This is our first one. Yeah. But what do you think about this one so far? I like it. Yeah. It's quiet. It is very quiet. It is very woodsy. Yes. And you so wouldn't you be able to... feel like you're secluded out in the woods a little. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to tell it, but we're only a few miles from I-10. Yeah. So it's convenient to get right back on the highway. Yeah. And because we're headed that way. Yeah, we're going that way. Anyway. Up to you know Biloxi Gulfport mm -hmm. is our next stop, and it, our next stop's right off I-10. So very convenient to get back onto the highway, but yeah. yet you feel secluded. Yeah. And um, they have a bunch of cool stuff out here. Um, yeah. They have uh, uh, several amenities like you would find at any other RV park, pretty much. Um, they have a swimming pool. You yeah. fill up your propane. Um, there's wildlife out here. There's ducks. Lots of yeah. You've been making I've been, friends. I've been making my everywhere we go. That there's making ducks. Making my duck friends everywhere <laughs> I go. Leslie has to make her duck <laughs> friends, feeding them bread and yeah. all that stuff. Um, there's a laundry bathhouse. Didn't go in there because we don't really use oh, that yeah, stuff. Yes. But there is one, and um, they got a couple ponds. Very nice little ponds. Yeah. And yeah. you can fish them. You don't need a license to fish. Yeah. It, uh, catch and release. Uh, other than if. You know, other than if they're longer than 12 inches long, you can keep them. You caught your uh, award-winning perch yes. yesterday. Yeah. Well, so we didn't get skunked. <laughs> he was about as long as my finger. <laughs> <laughs> he was the cutest thing. <laughs> um, I would say, yeah, the only downfall for here so far for me would be that there's a lot of permanent residents. There are a lot of permanents. And for, for a little park, there's a lot of permanent. And and that's, that's not... I don't want to to make it sound like that's a negative thing. Yeah. It's just that a lot of the permanent residents here are in very older RVs. Yeah. And very, um, some of them are very run down. Some of them have a lot of stuff. Some look like they, they couldn't leave here even if they wanted oh, to. Oh no, some look like they're having a yard sale every day. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, so it's just a little unsightly in some areas. Some, But yeah. for the most part, very quiet. They don't, they don't bother us at all. No. It's just a little unsightly. So Friendly people. Yeah, and very very cool people. And um, They seem close-knit, the, the, the ones that live here, when you see them out walking yeah. and talking to each other. And so RPI is kind of filling the gap for us between Thousand Trails, and there's a, a ton of different, different properties. Mm -hmm. So the other thing that RPI is good for is even if you are in areas that are, uh, 
you know have a lot of thousand trails if you're on a zone pass yeah and you have to get out of the thousand trails for a week for a or week, two yeah. you can go out to the rpi and then you can come back, come in. back in as long as that rpi is not also an encore property yeah because some of the rpis are yeah. also encore properties and that doesn't count as getting out of the system yeah that's still in the system so but if it's a true rpi you're good yes and this one we're at is is just a true rpi mm -hmm. um the next one we're staying at is a true RPI, mm -hmm. and it's like a, like a Jellystone Resort. The one next. Yeah, to that's going to be interesting. It is going to be. I've never cool. heard of a Jellystone being an RPI. As no, well. and normally they're very expensive. It's going to yeah. cost us less than a hundred dollars for the whole week to stay at a Jellystone. Yeah. So that's going to be. We've never stayed at Jellystone, so it'll be because they're so expensive. That's right. <laughs> you are correct. And actually, there are, uh, believe it or not, there are a couple of KOAs that are RPIs. RPIs. Yeah. Across the the country. And so we never to... stayed at a KOA because they are expensive. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so well, expensive um, to our taste. Yeah, we'll throw up the map so that you can see all the locations. Um, some of these, like I said, they overlap. Some mm -hmm. of these are encore properties, also. Yes. And RPIs, uh, some of them are thousand trails. So those people who are just RPI members can stay at those encore properties or at those thousand trail properties at a reduced, reduced rate. rate. Yeah. Um, so and I don't know, really know how that works to just be an RPI member because we got our three thousand trails. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't know. I'm sure their website says. Yeah. So, um, what do you think? Worth it? Yes. Yeah. Because it, it, and it worked out convenient for the fact that friends that we have down here are literally like 10, 15 minutes down the road, and we didn't know that when we booked it. Yeah. So that worked so out. So hanging out really with them well. has been convenient. And around this area, there's a ton of RV oh my parks gosh. and resorts. But I've never seen so many in a cluster. I know. It's but crazy. But with this is the only RPI. Mm-hmm. Uh, in this area, there's not a military in this area other than you know Pensacola. Yeah. Which we wanted to go a little further west before we stopped. So, yeah. So we're closer to Biloxi, but um, for us, it would have cost us at least a couple hundred dollars for the week mm -hmm. to stay anywhere else. But here, yeah. uh, even though it's not a thousand trails, not free, ninety-two dollars for the week is that, very that's good. Very good. You can't beat that. I mean, military costs us one hundred forty a week, one hundred fifty yeah. a week. Yeah. So. RPI definitely a good option if you are already a Thousand Trails member and you if if you're trying to travel outside of those those areas that have those Thousand Trail clusters yeah. RPI is a good solution for you to be able to Yeah, they're good gap fillers exactly. in between. Yeah. Um so we got our Thousand Trails membership through Camping Membership Outlet mm -hmm. and we got the Elite package. Uh, we're not going to go into all of that and how it works in well, this video. Yeah. Um but we've already saved a bunch of money through Thousand Trails. Yes. And now we're starting to save money through RPI. We're getting very close to um, to getting uh, recouped for our initial purchase. Mm -hmm. And we're not even six months into our... Membership. Yeah, using our membership so far. So it's all worked out very well. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave a link down below to um, to uh, Camping Membership Outlet in case you want to go check those mm -hmm. out. Those, those pre-owned elite memberships for Thousand Trails. Um, if you want to buy a zone pass, you'll have to go to Thousand Trails website. Yeah. We'll leave a link down there uh, in the description for that as well. We'll also leave a link to this uh, this campground because it's a, it's a nice little campground. So if you do end up getting an RPI membership and you want to stay here, it's definitely mm -hmm. worth staying if you're going to be in Mobile. I really liked because they were all pull-throughs. Yes. It made it nice too. 64 spots here and they're all pull-throughs. And, and we went longer, obviously, going to the Alliance. Yeah. But we fit with plenty of room. Yeah. We're not hanging out on the road. Very spacious. Yeah. And we're late. We're pond front. Yes, pond front. <laughs> if we had a, a class A, um, it'd be looking right, right out onto the, the onto the pond. Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, I kind of wish that they would have um, done the roads opposite. Well, if you had a class A, you wouldn't want it done that no. way. But or or stagger. stagger. There are parks that do some that you're to turn in with yeah. your butt to the water and then there's some that you pull forward into the water so they stagger yeah. it so, so they, everybody can get the view exactly if they could have staggered that yeah, to that where they, cool. they scout would have loved that they put the class a's facing this way and the fifth wheels facing that way yeah. that'd, be, that'd be perfect mm -hmm. but um but anyway it's it, we just walk out the door and it's right there so we can set our chairs out there we sit out there it was literally 20 steps to go out and go fishing Fish, yeah so <laughs> it's nice just to be able to, to sit out there yeah uh, if you have any questions about the rpi that we didn't cover or you're confused about it just leave us a comment below we'd be happy to tell yeah. you about that or answer whatever we can about that or help you find the answers that you're looking for and like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero uh if you want to learn more about how to help us help vets on the road all the information that you need is going to be in the description below 
Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.